Hi everybody, I'm Elaine, the marketing coordinator for Avcom. We're here with the lovely Jen Taylor. Oh wow, I get a title. <laughs> Um, so, I just wanted to ask you, just before, you said you have a story for the little, can I ask you what Oh, that? no, it was actually a different story than that. Oh. It was just, uh, I don't know if we want to get into it. I was talking about, <laughs> <laughs> well, now we are. Uh, so, I recorded a test for, for the guys at Bungie when they were just starting to do Destiny. I recorded a test um, sort of reel for them when they were working on motion capture. Mm -hmm. And they asked me to come in and do some test work for them, and I said, sure. And uh, I met a guy two or three years later at a bar who came up to me and he said, yeah, so I worked on that project and I, I, the camera's right here in front of your face. It's really close to your face when they're filming. Mm -hmm. And apparently I had a booger hanging out of my nose. <laughs> and so he spent three years looking at the, yes, that's my story about, uh -huh, yeah, we can cut that. <laughs> Let's cut that story. That's, I'm so <laughs> keeping that in. No, it's uh, terrible. <laughs> uh, okay, so first question I have for you. Um, what's it like being a woman in sort of a boys club? Uh, boys club um, in video games in video games in not necessarily anime as such but what's it like work in that industry where it's sort of run by men predominantly yeah well that's a lot of our world isn't it yeah. um, you know I when I work generally I work alone as a, as a video as in video mm. games mm. I work alone in a studio by myself and so I don't have I'm not as aware of it, mm. frankly. What I am aware of is that it's no, we don't get as many female character stories told. Mm. And when we do audition for games, we're oftentimes, as women, one of two or three female characters in the entire game. Mm -hmm. So that I'm aware of, but when I'm working, you know, engineers can be, there are plenty of female engineers, mm -hmm. there are plenty of, so, and female directors, a lot of female directors in video game, which mm -hmm. is, which in video games, which is great. Um, so I'm not as aware of it, frankly, when I'm doing the day-to-day -day mm -hmm. work. But it's just the characters that you get Characters to play. and story, so storylines so often. I'm yeah. one of the few women, I mean, mm -hmm. in the So in then, story. if you could choose any character currently out there, anime or video game, or create your own, what kind of character would be your dream character to play? What kind of character would be my dream character to play? I, I'm already sort of playing Cortana, who is a dream character for me, <laughs> but um, I would play a badass warrior. Yeah? I got to do, I was in some SWAT video game, and I don't know if it's SWAT 2 or SWAT 3 or just SWAT, but I got to play this badass sniper and all I frankly did was swear I think for most of it <laughs> but it was fun I mean that's so different from who I am physically that yeah. it's fun to play those characters yeah. that are so far away from you because like it doesn't pocket rocket yeah so. <laughs> doesn't <laughs> Australianism <laughs> yeah yeah explain more pocket rocket okay so it means a small person full of energy and fire and it just bounces off the walls. Mm -hmm. That's another Australian saying. Okay, so no, bounces just, off the walls, I got yeah. that one. Okay. Yeah, so you're a pocket rocket. Yeah, oh, okay, <laughs> I am a pocket rocket. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I, because I went to a really dirty place when you oh, said that. Okay. That's where my <laughs> brain went. <laughs> That's an Americanism, <laughs> pocket rocket. Anyway, uh, no, they, um, I would want to play something big and totally different. That's the beautiful thing that I love about mm. voiceover is that it doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter yeah. who, that's the beauty of doing it. It doesn't matter who you physically, how you physically represent. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I think the, one of the first characters I played was a mitten or a sock or something in a, <laughs> in a computer game. So that's great. Yeah. That's adorable. Um, okay. So just touching on Cortana, cause you did mention that Cortana's, Cortana is um, one of your favorite. Yep. Characters to play is that little blue. So this question is from Kayla, one of our uh -huh. staff members. She would want to know how do you interpret Cortana and Master Chief's relationship? <laughs> well, it's morphed a lot over the years, for mm. sure. Um, originally, when I first was cast, they said they were looking for a character. They wanted Cortana to not be um, a love interest, to be very much the girl next door, mm -hmm. the sort of 
almost like a sisterly character. Mm -hmm. um, the story has taken us down, a, I, I think, a different sort of path. It's taken us in a very windy, circuitous sort of route. <laughs> So how do I interpret their relationship? Um, they are very dependent upon each other, clearly. Mm -hmm. And they have a very, um, I think, beautifully symbiotic <laughs> relationship. Uh, and they can do without each other, but it, mm -hmm. it hurts. It's like losing a limb or something. Yeah. So they're codependent, but in a really lovely way. That's what it feels like to me. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. And I, people keep asking if they're in love with each other, and I don't know. There's definitely a certain love mm. that they have for each other. The way that I... It doesn't in, feel sexual to me in yeah, that way, but... The way that I interpreted it initially was it's much like sort of a Doctor Who companion relationship. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously he's had relationships, like the past Doctors, they've had right. relationships, but it's more of an Amy Pond sort of Matt Smith doctor relationship. Right. Where that they is a good love parallel, each other. Actually, yeah. Yeah. But But they, there's always gotta be some kind of weird tension, doesn't yeah. there? Or <laughs> yeah. we lose interest in to that. To make things so, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Right. Lovely. Okay. So We'd never really know until Master Chief started dating somebody and then we'd see what Cortana thought about it. Exactly. That would be interesting. Halo six. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Master Chief is goes on a date. That would be great. Mm. Oh, how good would it be to like a Master Chief like dating simulator? <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. That would be great. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> how different is it working on anime versus working on video games? Is there much differentiation between the two, or is it quite similar the process? It doesn't feel too different for me. Um, what's fun? The, really, the only anime that I work on is Ruby, mm -hmm. and. Um, those guys are really, they, re, they get, they're not in the studio because they're in Texas, but they actually get in there and, and read the script with me. Aww. And so we're reading together, which so often doesn't happen. You just say your line sort of out of context, out of, the, I mean, trying to figure out what the context is, but you're there alone in a booth, just speaking your lines mm -hmm. without anybody. So it was fun to play with them doing that. We're also now so much in video game, depending on the video game that you're doing, doing performance capture. Mm -hmm. So you're dropped into it, it feels mm -hmm. like, with other people. Mm -hmm. Anime, you're not doing that. You're just yeah. recording in the booth. But, um, so I don't know what other people's experience is, but mine is they're in there playing with me, which is fun. It's, it's act to actually get to be, to hear the people working with me. Yeah. At least, so. Excellent. OK. So. Um, we talked a little bit about, last night, we talked a little bit about the game company strike in America. Mm, yeah, there's a strike. How is that affecting you and affecting people you know? <coughs> um, and what's your take on that? It's interesting. They have, there are, they're not doing a, a full strike. Mm -hmm. They're going to the different companies who produce video games and, and trying to work out ways that they can work with each other. Mm -hmm. um, what the what the union is asking for is so minimal to me that it doesn't make sense that they wouldn't, mm. that, that this is taking so long. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little confused. But um, I fully support my union, and I think that what we're asking for is, is minimal. Mm -hmm. I don't know, do you, do you even know what the issue was there? Not much, um, but I've kind of gauged a little bit. But if you want to Yeah, I can describe explain, some of the yeah. things. Some of the things they're asking for are, a lot of the work that we do is vocally very stressful. Mm -hmm. We're screaming for hours. Mm -hmm. And they want to put a limit on how long people can do that because mm -hmm. it can blow out your voice and mm -hmm. then you don't have a job anymore because you can't scream. And I think that they're asking for a two hour limit. Right. Screaming for two hours. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, one of the big things, uh, we don't, oftentimes we go into audition for video games and we don't know what they are because everything's so secret. Yeah. So you know you're in a first, you know you're auditioning for a first person shooter-esque kind of game that's, that's sort of like something, I mean they may draw a parallel to some other game that's mm -hmm. out there, but you don't really know what you're auditioning for. Yeah. And people feel, a lot of people feel uncomfortable with that because there are certain types of games that people perhaps don't want to, this is what I understand, mm -hmm. that people perhaps don't want to be a part of. Yeah, absolutely. And 
they don't have the option to say, actually, I don't want to audition for that yeah. game. Is that the big difference between anime and video games then? Or you get the script first for anime and then you understand your character? And yes. Then you, and then with video games, it, because you said it's very secretive. It's very so. secretive. Yeah. Most of the video games that I've been in, I have not read the entire script. I don't know what happens. I only know what is kind of what is happening to me. Mm -hmm. Is that exciting character. though? It's almost like Game of Thrones a little bit. I mean, <laughs> I, I, it's exciting when I get to find out what actually is happening, what the storyline <laughs> is. Oh, that's what happened. That's why I did that. Okay, I see. Um, but the, then the other thing they are asking for as well is at a certain, after selling, this is, I don't want to be too boring, but after a certain point of making a certain amount of money, selling a certain amount of units, mm -hmm. that the actors just get another tiny little, um, I don't want to say kickback, uh, they get another uh, session fee. Mm -hmm. And so that, because that's how we get paid. We go in for a day and we get a session fee. Mm -hmm. So it's just one session fee. Oh, okay. After they make a certain. And it's for people, it's for companies that are making, you know, that are yeah. selling, moving two million units, I think is what it is. They're making a lot of money. So they're just asking for a little, because we don't, it's not like TV or film, we don't get mm -hmm. residuals. Mm. That's interesting that you just mentioned how many units that video games do sell. Uh, do millions. You, I know. Millions. And it's really interesting because there's no, I mean, unless you're very tech savvy, there's no real way to pirate uh, video games successfully. Right, right. You can do it. But does that give you security? Because there's so many ways you can stream music these days. You can obviously, there's Steam, so there's those kind of platforms to stream video right. games, but does that make, feel, make you feel secure in it? Well, right device? now, it, right now, again, once they ship the game, mm -hmm. I don't, it doesn't affect me. Okay. I've already been, financially. Yeah. I mean, it affects me in that I hope people like it, I hope people buy it so that yeah. they continue to make more of whatever the game is, mm -hmm. because I want people to enjoy, you know, you hope when you're making something that people will enjoy it. Um, but other than that, it doesn't affect me in that way mm -hmm. that you're saying. So it doesn't make me feel secure. Yeah. Um, because the industry is just growing and right, growing and right. growing. Does that, does that excite you? Does that, oh, you yeah, know, of where course. it's going? Well, yeah, 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 of course, yeah. What kind of, just going on video games again, what kind of game would you really love to see? I asked what character would be your dream character to be in, what kind of game would you love to be in? <laughs> um, wow, I have to really think outside the box there. Now you're forcing me to. Sorry. No, no. Um, you know, I, I'm going to... My game, my, the game that I would like to, to play would be so, I think would be so boring. To, it would be so mundane and boring to other people. Oh. I think so, truly. It'd be like doing mundane. <laughs> That's the thing. My favorite type of game to play is like just building up sort of like little towns yeah. or something. Right, like right. I really love sort of civilization uh -huh. and that kind of stuff. And I loved Age of Empires. So okay, well, so then, okay. Yeah. So then we're, we're together okay, in that. We can, okay, we, yeah. we can connect right. on that, yeah. yeah. But I love that sort of just building up a civilization and just being able to like not control, but like resource connection and stuff like right. that. But yeah, I love that kind of little mm. stuff. It's, it's almost, it's not mindless, but it's, it's great. It feels, yes, yeah. Mm. Okay, so um, how do you feel, um, we talked about a little bit about before, uh, um, women in the gaming industry. Mm. Do you feel with the, um, how they're bringing in main characters for women in film? Do you feel like there's a positive shift oh, I think in so. the video game industry? Yeah. Well, I think we're slowly becoming aware of um, needing more, you know, in our society in general, of needing mm -hmm. more women in any sort of career that we're working in. Also, mm -hmm. you know, more, um, we have a lot of, I know in, for uh, 343, there's a lot of women running the company, mm -hmm. which is pretty badass. But yeah, no, I'm hoping that there will be, of course, a, a shift. It's slow going, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, but look at, I mean, anime has always had women, tons yeah. of women in there. And why we, in video games, can't go that way, I'm not sure, but I'm hoping that there will be 
Do you think that is because it started off as a typically male dominated activity? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and how do we, well, how I think it has that? to do with film. Yeah, how do we shift that? Mm. Yeah. And I think that film, especially with the, have you seen Wonder Woman? Yes! <laughs> I wept during that movie. Really? I wept. When she was out on the, well, I don't want to say anything in case people haven't seen the film. <laughs> When she was out on the battlefield, it mm -hmm. made when me she came cry. out of the trench. Oh. It made me cry. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. That was that. That was a great. I think it was such a great moment for women in general in all types of activities that are male dominated, mm. because it, it gave women a chance, like a, a feeling that, wow, we can be <laughs> like strong, independent female characters without the ten tendency to be considered bitchy. Yes, yes. Well, and so often we're ancillary characters. Mm -hmm. We're the wife, the friend, the, mm -hmm. and how amazing to be the character, just mm -hmm. to be a character, which men don't think, men don't have to think about that. Mm -hmm. The one television show that's my favorite on this subject is Jessica Jones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought you were gonna love, say that. Love that, <laughs> especially because I love David Tennant, but I also love the storyline. Because it, I, I read a comment on, um, on a, I think it was on Facebook about it, and some, a guy said, but all the guy characters are nothing characters. They have no substance to Welcome them. Welcome to our <laughs> world. Yep. Yeah. So that was great. Right. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I, let's get more of those. Let's definitely. write more of those. I think that also, um, you know, if we have more female writers, that's mm -hmm. going to help a little bit. But I, I and I think that there are, that is happening, mm -hmm. again, slowly. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe, as you say, it's because in the beginning it seemed to be that there were, uh, it was a male-dominated mm -hmm. um, group actually playing the games. Mm -hmm. But now that's not the case. Yeah. Half the people out there are women. Half the people out there the, the head, around us. The head lady for this entire convention is a woman. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Rad. Kira. Kira. Go oh. give her a hug. Oh, I, I didn't know. Okay, Kira. <laughs> Okay, so just winding up, mm. um, what is something, if you have had a chance to look through our programming, that you may be excited to check out? I haven't. Oh. I haven't looked at it. Well, if you do get a chance. Give me a thing. Yeah, tell me. What, what, what do I need to do? Just on the, the female video gaming and oh, stuff. Okay, it's yeah. CDW, which is our video gaming uh, sort of like college. Like they do like oh. arts and programming. Okay. Um, check them out. They're okay. In, they have quite a few women. One, Go ladies. One amazing cosplayer in Adelaide, her name is Zoe, Lilaria Cosplay. She is studying video game design, I think. So she's someone that I, looked up, I look up to mm. because she's amazing she's her, doing in her it. craft, but she's doing it and she's working in this industry. So yeah, I, cool. love, I love that. Cool. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank Jen. you. Yeah, and thank it's you. It's been absolutely amazing. She's the loveliest person. So definitely go check out her signings and her panel and her guest photos. <laughs> and just, yeah, it's been so lovely. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. Excellent. And we'll see you. <laughs>